Welcome back to The Mom's View. I am Kaylee, this is Carly. Hi guys. And today we wanted to give you a fun idea to do with your lover for Valentine's Day. Ooh, lover, lover. So this is really easy. I just put all of this stuff together with a lot of the things that I already had at my house. I just used some old things. And you can do this any way, use anything that you have. I had this old shadow box that I used for a billion different things and decided to turn it into this little board. And I just put some scrapbooking paper um, behind it and then I found this chicken wire at Hobby Lobby and it was only like two bucks and so I put cute. it in there so that we could clip little love notes to it. So that is the idea for this video is just to do like a little countdown to Valentine's Day and open up like fun little ideas to do with your husband, like wife, it. girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever you love for Valentine's Day. It's like an advent calendar for yeah. Valentine's Fun. So I was really inspired by you because we went to lunch and Carly was Wait, I am not crafty. How are you inspired by me? This is for this idea. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because we were out to lunch and Carly said, something that Jackson and I, and I do every night is we play a game. And when I went home, I was like, I should start doing stuff like that with Casey. And then I started thinking of different things we could do together. And I was like, what a fun idea to do for Valentine's Day to count down the days and do something fun. So yeah. this isn't like anything like crazy. You can make this as romantic or as spicy or as whatever you want to, you know, Clips whatever. panties to the chicken wire. <laughs> whatever you want to do. But some ideas that I had was to play a game, mm -hmm. to put a puzzle together. I love that. Just anything to sit down together and reconnect. Yeah. Something funny that I thought you could also do, like when you open a fortune cookie and you read it and you're, you always end it in bed. Yeah, that's like, fun. Your life will be greater in, in bed. bed. <laughs> you can even open these, like put a puzzle together naked. <laughs> Yeah, Kaylee has to do this face naked. <laughs> you know, something like that. So you, like I said, you can do anything you want with this. I just wanted to give you this idea because I really want to do that this year with Casey. Mm -hmm. Just to like make it more romantic, flirty, just a time for you guys to just sit down together, just the two of you, even if it's just at home and do something fun. So this is just an idea. Do whatever you want with the things that you have. I did go to Hobby Lobby and I found these like little envelopes. They're so cute. And then like these little cards to write the messages on. There's some stickers and some different things. I got these little clips so that you can clip it. You can also just get like a poster board and glue it. You yeah. can you can do it. Like fourteen envelopes. So that yeah. is. Yep. I like this though because I I feel like there's so much pressure for guys. Like that it's up to them for that holiday. But I've always treated Valentine's Day like I like to give my friends Valentine's. Mm -hmm. It's just a day to celebrate love in general. So if you don't have a partner or a lover, you can do this with a friend or just yeah. like maybe your mom. You need to get a better relationship with your mom. I just love this idea for like really any holiday, yeah. but for Valentine's, like the month of love, this is so cute. Just to show idea. love. And I think sometimes it can be hard, like, oh crap, it was just Christmas. What am I going to do for Valentine's Day? Where do I get my husband? Yeah. That's not like, you know, because the like guys, it's like chocolate and roses mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's like, what do you get a guy? And I think most guys like, at, like if you know the love languages, Jackson really likes quality time and words of affirmation. So this would be perfect for mm -hmm. him, you know? Yeah. And you can make it fit, like you said, anyone. You can make it fit your lover, however you guys. Who's your lover? Do, lover. Whatever you do. <laughs> Who you <So>. guys do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, whatever. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to do this because I want February to be very romantic. Like things have been busy. We just had our fourth kid. Listen, I'm just down That's the street, so bring him down, I'll watch him, I'll babysit. Or even just after bedtime. Yeah. Like, just sit down together. That's why I love playing that board game, because it, like, forced us to turn off the TV and the phones and, like, make eye contact, and you just start talking about things. I don't know. It's just, it's good to reconnect in different ways. And this right. is outside the box. But it's a box. <laughs> and I think just um, flirting. Like, when, you, when you've been married, for as long as Casey and I have been married, we've been together 18 years. So long. Sometimes about like flirting yeah. and I just want to flirt with my husband and I just want to flirt with I'm gonna put me. one card that says pinch my butt yeah <laughs> or like I mean I love PDA though taking a bath together yeah and you guys have to commit to doing all of these things even mm -hmm. if it makes you feel like I don't want him to see me naked doesn't matter get in the bathtub together doesn't matter <laughs> we only have like Turn a tiny mind. bathtub so we won't be bathing together that is not what I'm like we wouldn't even fit can I tell like, you a funny embarrassing <laughs> story 
on our honeymoon, Jackson wanted to like get in the bathtub with me and it was in one of those bathtubs that's like just a regular bathtub. Mm -hmm. And so I like scooted to the front of the bathtub so he could like get in and he went to sit on his bum <laughs> and he slipped and hit, and hit his head and his whole butt slid oh down and hit gosh. me in the chest. <laughs> so his whole butt area just slammed into my back and he turned around and his legs were in the air and he just like looked like this and he was like, sorry, and just like hit me in the back with his but his whole butt area, I said. I'm like, you know, all the things that are on the guy's butt. Balls, you know. And I was just like, and he was like, sorry, that wasn't romantic. And I was like, it was. Because it it's is. so funny. And right. now, every time we take a bath together, we laugh about mm -hmm. how he just like slipped and like whammed me with his bum. Yeah, that's so funny. Anyways, <laughs> sorry guys. So I'm doing 14, and you can number these if you want them to go in a specific order. If you know, like on day seven, you will have a babysitter, and this is what you want to do. I didn't number mine because I just wanted to be a surprise for him and me. That's fun. And so I just put some cards, and I just decorated them with um, some stickers or this cute tape, you know, whatever you have. And then I put it in these little envelopes and another sticker, mm -hmm. and then yep, we're just gonna stick it to the board. I'm like your assistant. Thank you. Here you go, doctor. So this is really easy. Anyone can do this. You don't have to be crafty. Um, and you can make it any way you want. Like, I just like the thought of doing something like this. I love tiny things. <laughs> this tiny clip. And if you're a guy and you make this for your lover. You're winning. You're gonna be winning. If Jackson made me something like this, I'd be like, who are you? Why have you done my husband? Yeah. So if you know a guy who's like, I want to get my wife something really special, Send him send this him, video. Yeah, send him this video because let's let's make everyone happy with this Valentine's Day. Let's bring the romance back. When I was like a single, single girl, I remember thinking, I'm not gonna let Valentine's be that typical, like, oh, feel bad for yourself. So I remember I'd get my mom and Colette and you. Yep. I love doing that. And like Target has the cutest, they had the cutest cactus socks. Mm -hmm. It was like, pick me and your lover or something. Yes. I they were so cute. I always love doing countdowns for everything. Like I love, like I love the anticipation of holidays and of different things going on almost more than the actual day. <laughs> and like the prep for it? Yeah. Or just like counting down. Do I need so. to come up with some of these ideas because this card is blank? Yes. I left a bunch of them blank. Let me find a <laughs> I'm going to come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Okay, I really, I won't, I won't be too wild. Whatever Carly writes down, you see, and I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what should I write? So I also um, found like these Valentines that are, were cute and they came with this string and um, you can just put those on the board. You don't have to put these in envelopes. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just make it fun for you and you love it. You love it. Or your kids. That's what I was gonna say before I like, one. lost my train of thought. I like doing countdowns for kids. And I, a couple of years ago, I did a countdown um, of different ways to show love through service. That's and fun. that is something that you could do with your kids to just kind of teach them to serve others this time of year to show how much you love them. I like the idea of doing like a fun Valentine's breakfast too. Oh yeah, that's like sitting idea. down and. These are so cute. Here's some stickers. If you want. I can't wait for you to open mine. You're gonna text me and be like, Carly, Carly little Mary. Valentine's Day is just fun. I know. Like Target Day. has the cutest stuff right now. Yeah, you can. So I found all of this stuff at Hobby Lobby, but check Michaels or Target. Get everything on sale. And then this will be your Valentine's Day gift. You know what else I thought would be really cute to do with this is to take like Polaroid pictures oh, with you and your loved one and then put them on there too. And then just write the message on the back. I hope you don't think I'm silly. We're down. I love it. Don't tell Casey any of these are my idea. <laughs> Be so weird now. He'll know my it. sister came up with this. <laughs> what? That's okay, so first funny. we're gonna start with bubble gum and then <laughs> it's gonna get real weird. When it doesn't work out the way that you expect it, you just pretend like you meant to. <laughs> Like yes, that's how it yeah. One of the best gifts that we got for our wedding was from Sid and Liv, mm -hmm. and they did a date 
they did date envelopes and every month they did like July they had a date night for us mm -hmm. and like and they did cute things like December it was a Starbucks gift card and we went and got like hot chocolate and drive around and look at lights and they just gave you the idea because mm -hmm. sometimes that's half the battle is just coming up with what the heck to do yeah. you know the idea yeah that's kind of another thing that inspired this is I've heard of that before or like it showers and um, people leave different ideas for date nights mm -hmm. And I, I love, love that, that idea too, because it is hard. Alright you guys, that is it for our little Valentine's Day craft idea. If you guys do this, please tag us. If you guys have any ideas for this that would be just like fun or funny or romantic, leave them down below. And I would love them. Yeah, to hear yours. Some, on the PG-13 side, you know? Yes, right. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to put PG-13 in here. You can put whatever you want in here, but in the comments, just keep Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Bye.